Hello everyone, today we'll be discussing the story of the Pocomoke Forest. Located in Snow Hill, Maryland, the Pocomoke Forest has many dark stories and legends that are whispered by the local inhabitants that live nearby. Today we'll be looking at one of these stories, the story of the hook. As the legend goes, a young couple drove out to the forest to have a makeout session. As they arrived, a bulletin came on the radio warning people in the area to beware of an escaped inmate from Cambridge State Hospital. The radio described him very vividly, explaining that he had jet black hair, a matching beard, and most importantly, a hook for a hand. They also explained that the man was convicted of a murder that took place in the same forest. As the couple heard this, the girlfriend became very uneasy and asked her boyfriend to take her home. They heard some mysterious noises and decided to check out what the noise was. They exited the car and looked around. As they looked back at the car, it was covered in scratches and there was a hook lodged in the handle of the driver's side door. The couple drove away, not looking back, and the inmate was never captured or found. While this is not the story of a ghost, it does make for a very nice campfire story to tell on a trip. Now, I know you aren't satisfied with that, so let's talk about a real ghost in the Pocomoke Forest. Pocomoke Forest is very large and is cut through by the Pocomoke River. The river stretches from the coast where trade ships regularly move goods from the Caribbean to the rest of the state. Because of this, the cellar house had become a place of passing for many ships and owners. The cellar house was built in 1760 as a plantation house for the wealthy merchant named William Allen. Not only did he own a plantation, but he also owned a fleet of ships that made him a lot of money. Unfortunately, he passed in 1792, and his property was passed on to his descendants. This cellar house has seen many owners and has a very long history. This history is accompanied by a story of a woman and her child who had met their unfortunate demise near the home. As the story goes, the home was built by a six-fingered sea captain as a gift for his wife. The sea captain spent a lot of time away from home, and on one of his trips, his wife had a child. When he returned home, he was furious as the child was not his and told his wife to never return back to the home. The wife reluctantly agreed and moved to a nearby town until she became desperate and paid a man to guide her and her child through the swamp on a raft to talk to her husband. On the trip there, the raft overturned and both the child and the man hired to guide the woman drowned. The wife pulled herself out of the water and made her way to the captain and told him what happened. Shortly after this, an argument broke out between the two of them, and the captain stabbed his wife to death. Shortly after this, the captain abandoned the home, where it laid empty until 1987, when it was purchased and restored by new owners. After the restoration, strange stains appeared in the floor, almost as if someone had been killed there. People also started to note strange noises and voices being heard at night, and some say that they can hear the cries of a woman nearby. Some even say they see a ghost of a woman holding a lantern while looking for a lost child. Do you believe in these stories? Do you have a ghost in your town that you would like us to talk about? Let us know in the comments below and be sure to come back to hear more about ghosts that may be haunting a town near you. April Fools!